Hey guys, it's Wingy here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be looking at the Marvel Cinematic Universe and some of the villains that I want to see join. Now I am aware that Marvel doesn't necessarily have the best track record when it comes to villains, with the exception of Loki, but Marvel have some great villains out there and some that I don't feel have had the proper love that they deserve. They've been treated horrendously in the past, they've never even been seen before some of them. So these are just some of my suggestions on villains that I want to see. So I'm just going to dive straight into it and first up I want to talk about more. Morbius. Now Morbius hasn't always been a villain, he did start off as one and then he's become more of an anti-hero and, and even sometimes a fully fledged hero, but I've always been intrigued by Morbius and I think given how Marvel is sort of changing its direction, obviously it started out quite relatively grounded with Iron Man and then we've seen stuff like Aliens, we've been into space with the Guardians, we've seen magic with Doctor Strange, so I think going into the vampire realm of the Marvel Universe would actually be an interesting direction to go. I know a lot of people do associate Morbius with Blade and I don't know where his rights stand at the minute, I don't know if Marvel do have the rights to Blade, or even Morbius himself, but I think it'd be really cool. Plus, Morbius, for me at least, because of the 90s animated series, I associate him the most with Spider-Man. And given how we've seen the Green Goblin multiple times, we've seen Doc Ock before, I think it'd be really interesting to see a different type of villain for Spider-Man to go up against, Morbius being the obvious choice in my view. Plus, if they do actually have the rights to Blade, you could mix in that story from the 90s animated series, where Spider-Man is caught in between the feud of Morbius and Blade. That'd just be an amazing thing to see on the big screen. He's something different? Why not? My second choice is a weird one because of where his rights are at the minute, but it's Doctor Doom. Look, I know he is at Fox and I know he is closely associated with the Fantastic Four, but Doctor Doom isn't just a Fantastic Four villain. I mean, he's gone up against the Avengers before, I think he's gone up against the X-Men, he's definitely gone up against Luke Cage randomly. So why not bring him into the Marvel Cinematic Universe? He clearly has a big presence like a Loki or a Thanos, and let's be honest, how he's been treated before is not necessarily the best, so Fox just need to cut their losses with the Fantastic Four and all the characters that they have and just give them back to Marvel. Even if you do absolutely nothing with the Fantastic Four, can we please at least see a good version of Doctor Doom? At this point, it is a massive shame that one of the most iconic comic book villains has just not been treated properly at all. But after Thanos, it is going to be difficult to try and think of a big bad to sort of take on the Avengers or individual members of the team. Doctor Doom seems like the logical choice and like I say, seeing as how the movies before with him in it have completely and utterly bombed, surely Fox realised that they are not the best people to handle him. Right? Surely they know that. Okay, so this next one, again, I'm not 100% sure where the rights are with this character, but I'm going to go with Taskmaster. This is a character that we have never seen on the big screen. He's been in multiple different cartoons before, and obviously in the comics, but he's another really cool and different villain. I did hear a rumour that he was supposed to be in the first Deadpool movie, so I don't know if he is owned by Fox or if he's one of those characters where different studios can use him. I have no idea. But I think he is different enough, and he's not really, in terms of the general audience, he isn't that well known, so I think he's it would be cool to bring a character like that in to show him off to the general cinema going audience. Plus, in the comics before, he has had quite a close tie with S.H.I.E.L.D. and Nick Fury, so that could be an interesting road to go. And because he doesn't necessarily have a typical hero to go up against, you can put him against anyone. You could put him against Captain America, you could put him against Iron Man, maybe even the Hulk, maybe even the Avengers themselves. Who knows? Then again, they may use him for Deadpool in the future, so I don't know. Either way, I just want to see him on the big screen. Whether it's Deadpool, which probably would be the best way to go, but if not, the Marvel Cinematic Universe put him with Cap, you know, that'd be awesome. And finally, my favourite ever comic book villain besides the Joker, but obviously he isn't owned by Marvel anyway, so I doubt he'd appear in any of the Avengers movies. Oh, imagine that crossover. Stop getting distracted. Anyway, Venom. Now, I know that Venom's rights are owned with Sony, but then again, we have Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe now. And I know the other problem is they do have the new solo movie with Tom Hardy in it, but then again, this will be the first time that we will see Venom on the big screen. It is. Okay, we don't need to talk about that. Okay, yes, Venom was treated just... Oh, it's just so fucking bad in Spider-Man 3. So can we please just get a great version of Venom on the big screen, please? And whilst this Tom Hardy movie does intrigue me somewhat, I would much rather have him as the main villain in a Spider-Man movie. I know people would say someone like Doc Ock or the Goblin is Spider-Man's arch nemesis, but to me, it's always been Venom. He's the complete opposite of Spider-Man. He's more powerful than him. He doesn't set his spider sense off. And I think there's a really cool dynamic with him and Eddie Brock in the Ultimate series that I would love to see brought to the 
big screen. Tom Hardy, I'm sure, will do a great job, but it's a solo movie, and whilst a character like that does warrant a solo movie, his rightful place should be beating the crap out of Spider-Man. I just want to see that. We need to see a decent version of Venom, because most people, if they don't read comic books or watch the cartoons, they're going to assume that that shitty version in Spider-Man 3 is Venom, and it is. it just isn't. It isn't. I don't care if you like the Tobey Maguire movies, I don't care if you love Spider-Man 3, that is not Venom. <sighs> I just, I'm having nightmares about it already. It's awful. It's just awful. But they're just some of my suggestions. Let me know in the comments, though, which villains do you want to see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Do you agree with my choices? Did I miss any out? And I know some of the rights are a bit iffy, but I'm just sort of ignoring them for now because I'm sure Marvel will work out a deal at some point. Either way, whoever they are, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like on it. And if you want to see more Marvel-related content on my channel or any other crap that'll be on here, then make sure you subscribe. And if you do, I would love you forever. But until next time guys, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. <laughs> Seeing as the movies with him in it, but... Uh.